Hello everyone. My name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing one amazing project called Automatic License Plate Recognition. So here we'll be using YOLO V9 and Easy OCR. So here, first of all, we'll be detecting the license plate. Then we'll be extracting the number from that particular license plate with the help of Easy OCR. If you don't know about OCR, OCR is nothing but optical character recognition. So with the help of OCR, we can easily extract any kinds of text from an image or video. So in this video to perform the object detection, I'll be using YOLO V9 model. So here we'll be first of all training our custom data. So here we'll be using this car license plate data. Then we'll be fine tuning that state of the art YOLO V9 model. Then after that, we'll be applying OCR on top of it to extract the information from the license plate. So guys, here you can see I already prepared one collab notebook for you. And if you don't know about YOLO V9, so in my YouTube channel, I already created one tutorial how we can, uh, let's say, fine tune this YOLO V9 model, okay, on top of our custom data. So there, I already showed you. So if you haven't watched that video, guys, I will suggest try to watch this video. So this will give you the entire idea how we can perform the custom training on top of our custom data with this YOLO V9 model. Not only YOLO V9, I also created another video with the help of YOLO V10. There, I also showed you how we can detect the car license plate. But there, I was only performing the detection task, okay. Now, in this particular uh, video, we'll be doing the uh, recognition okay that means automatic number plate recognition that means we'll be extracting then uh, let's say information from the license plate okay with the help of ocr technique as well so here first of all what you have to do you have to first of all connect this notebook and make sure you have selected runtime as a gpu because here uh, we'll be doing the fine tuning operation first of all okay uh, this yellow v9 model then will be uh, doing the inference on top of it that is the idea now i already connected with my notebook and let me show you the data set guys the data set actually i'm using so this is the data guys and this data set is available inside uh, roboflow roboflow universe roboflow universe is one of the amazing platform so here you will get all kinds of computer vision related data so if you uh, need any kinds of data so try to search here you will get all kinds of data here so here i'm going to use this particular data guys this is the car license plate data you can see this is the car license plate data so here you can see we are having different different cards with respect to the license plate as well i will show you how we can connect with the roboflow universe and how we can get the data okay inside our google collab so as of now first of all let me execute this particular uh, line so this will give me the gpu configuration so i'm using tesla t4 gpu now first of all i will set the uh, current working directory that means uh, i'm inside content directory you can see this is my current working directory right now so the first thing what i have to do i have to clone the yolo v9 repository okay in this video i already discussed like how we can perform the fine tuning uh detailed discussion i did so here i'm not going to discuss in detail okay why i'm uh, like cloning this repo and how why i'm uh, installing this requirement.txt so everything i have discussed here okay so here first of all i have to clone this yolo v9 repository so this is the yolo v9 repository guys so first of all i have to clone it then i have to install the requirements okay so it is having one requirement.txt file i have to install that particular requirements so see this is the requirement.txt i have to install so let me install now i already told you we'll be using roboflow universe to download the data that's why i need to install roboflow as well then we'll be downloading some pretend model okay uh, from mm -hmm. the internet and these are the pretend model are available inside yolo v9 so let me download all of them now if i refresh left hand side you can see the weight folder inside that all the model has been downloaded now if you want to list down you can also use the ls command to list down all of the model now i will redirect to my uh, yolo v9 folder now inside that i'm going to download the data okay now how to download the data so just come here click on the download project now here you will see one option uh, download data set just click on download data set and see this data set is already annotated okay i don't need to annotate this data set so here i can directly download the format let's say i want to use yellow v9 model i'll select the yellow v9 model and i'll directly use this particular data but if you want to annotate your custom data for this i again i created another video uh, data annotation with the help of roboflow platform so here you can refer this video to learn how we can annotate our data with the help of roboflow platform but here the data set is already annotated i don't need to annotate it so i'll just try to select yellow v9 select the show code and continue and copy this code snippet and try to paste here okay so now it will uh, download the data from the roboflow universe but before that you have to give one access token here so to get the access token visit the link and make sure you log in with your account okay so you should have account in the roboflow then you will be able to get this particular token 
now i'll select my workspace and i'll generate the token this is the token guys just try to copy and here let me paste now if i press enter it will authenticate then it will download the data from the universe now if i refresh see this data has been downloaded now if you see the data.yml file it is having only one class which is nothing but license fine and inside training folder you have the image as well as the labels okay i think you know what is the format of yellow i already discussed this part now i can start the training guys to start the training you can execute this train.py so here is the train.py inside that they have written all the code you don't need to change anything only you just need to give some parameter like batch size number of epoch image size okay device uh, so device is equal to zero that means i want to utilize my gpu i am only using one gpu that's why device is equal to zero if you're using multiple gpu you, you can also give the gpu id here now as of now i'll be training 25 epoch you can also increase the epoch size uh, let's say if your model is not performing well in that case you can increase the epoch size now here i'm giving my data location my data.yml file location so here is the data.yml so it is available inside my dataset.location data.yml okay this is the location now here i'm specifying the weights that means which model i want to find you i want to find you this galan pt model and it is available inside weight folder galan pt model fine now i can start the training guys now i'll click on the training now training may take some time uh, so i will pause the video once training is completed i will come back so guys you can see training has started mm, you can see it has loaded the training data validation data now see training has started my epoxy is running so let's wait once training is completed i will come back so guys as you can see my training is completed and uh, this is my map score i'm getting uh, that means if your uh, map score is close to one uh, your model is performing well and if it is close to zero that means it is performing uh, not well okay we can also validate our model i'll tell you how we can validate but before that let me show you it will create a folder called runs inside that it will save all the artifacts that's inside train experiment see inside weight this is the weight actually we have trained okay base.pt this is my weight we'll be using this particular weight apart from that it has also saved different different matrices okay now let me plot and let me show you these are the matrices like the entire loss and accuracy we can see now i can also list down this folder so these are the files it has generated now if you want to like uh, visualize them you can just simply execute this code it will visualize this result.png and inside that you are having all the graph you can see now losses is decreasing as per your epochs is increasing and uh, this map is increasing as per your uh, epochs is increasing that means learning was good but uh, sometimes actually you can see the zigzag issue because you need to increase the epoch size a little bit okay because i only turn 25 epochs it uh, it's not actually a good epoch size Whenever you are training your actual model, try to at least train 300 epoch. Okay, you will get a good model. Now, if you want to visualize the confusion matrix, this is the confusion matrix. So this is the confusion matrix. We are having only one class license. Okay. Now, if you want to see the batch images, so you can execute this code. It will show you some batch images. See, these are some batch images. Okay. Now, different different license plate image we are having now. Let's do the validate uh, my custom model on top of my test data. So here you can see I'm using my base.tt model. On top of that, actually, I'm running the validation. Okay. So there is a file called valid.py. Inside that, they have written all the code. How to perform the validation, all everything they have given. Now let me validate it. So it will show me the validation score. So once execution is completed, you will see the validation score. See, now this is the map score mean average position and it's 0 0.97 that means it's almost good okay it's performing well and now you can perform the inference with your custom model so here i'll be taking my test images okay and on top of that i'll be uh, like predicting my model so let me define my base.pt location and this is my testing image i'm getting from my data set location now let me do the rejection and they have already created one file called detect.py inside that they have written all the code okay like uh, how to load the model how to perform the detection how to visualize everything they have written so you don't need to worry about only just need to execute and set these are the parameter that's it now see detection is completed now if you want to see them go to the runs folder again if i refresh inside runs you can see they it has created detect folder inside that it has experiment now see all the prediction now if you want to visualize i can execute this code it will visualize all the example let me show you see this is the visualization now it is detecting the license plate okay you can see but some of the image actually it's not good uh, because i told you you need to increase the epoch size a little bit you can also open it up 
see okay uh detection is pretty good you can see 91 percent confident it's a license plate fine now let's see how we can perform on top of the video so i have one video file guys so let me just upload it here so let me show you the video file so this is the video guys so this video i'll be uploading and on top of that i will perform the detection so i'll upload inside my yolo v9 folder i will upload uh this is the video card.mv4 let me upload it so my video has updated now you can see this is the video now we'll be running this model on top of the video now see i'm running the detect.py only and the confidence score i have taken very less because i want to detect all the let's say license plate present in that video you can also decrease and increase it it's up to you but i'll suggest just keep it 0.5 okay as of now i just only train 25 epoch that's why i'm keeping confidence score 0.1 now device is equal to zero that means i want to run on my gpu and this is the weight location this is my base.pt and source is equal to my uh, video location okay card.mp4 now let me execute and let me show you now first of all what it will do it will convert to frame actually image frame and it will uh, try to uh, detect and it will again convert to the video see you are having 631 frame okay in this video so see execution is completed now if i want to see the results so just refresh go to the runs folder detect folder experiment 2 now this is the mp4 video just try to download it now see it has downloaded now let me open it up see now i'm getting the detection see it is uh, detecting perfectly but here we have done the detection now what i have to do i have to extract the let's say numbers okay numbers from the license plate for this we'll be using uh easy ocr we'll be applying easy ocr to extract the information so uh, let me show you how we can do it i'll close this now see this is the code guys first of all let me install the easy ocr now see uh, i just did a small modification in the detect.py see whatever detect.py we are having now i'm using the same code but inside this uh, code actually i added some of the functionality let me show you so this is the file i prepared npr let me open it uh, with my visual code studio see the same detect.py i'm using only the change i have done i imported easy ocr and cv2 and this function i have created okay this function i have created called perform ocr on image that means whatever detection i'm getting okay from my detection model i'll pass this detection image here and it will extract the information that means whatever text actually it is having then this results actually it will uh, return okay this is the idea so this is a simple function i have written and this function i'm calling after doing the detection let me show you so if i go below so this is the line i think see easy ocr code okay so here actually you can see i'm calling this function so i'm uh, whatever detection i'm getting from my detection see this is the detection image i'm getting and this is the coordinate point i'm extracting the text and i'm adding this text in the label and i'm passing to the annotation annotator okay and what this annotator will do it will show that text uh, on top of the bounding box okay so this will show that text so that is what actually i'm doing this is the small modification i have done apart from that the same code i'm using okay now let me upload this file so what i will do i'll upload this file inside my uh yolo v9 okay in v9 folder i'll call, open upload so here is the file i'll try to upload no need to worry everything would be shared in my description section so from there you can download now see npr.py have uploaded now this is the file now we have to execute this file and the same confidence code device everything you have to give your model location and source is equal to your image now see if i execute the code now it will first of all uh, actually detect then it will extract the information from that particular detection Okay, it is giving me one error because here i've given experiment to it should be experiment one only okay should just experiment now i think it should work so see guys my detection and extraction is done now if i want to see the results i'll go to the runs folder again detect and the last experiment experiment 4 and download this video now it is downloaded now if i open it up you will see the detection as well as the recognition you can see it is extracting the numbers okay from the license plate so yes that's how actually we can perform automatic license plate recognition with the help of uh, yolo v9 and easy ocr so yes this is all about from this video i hope you liked it so please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time